that's that's as far as I understand. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. we're, we're no, you're right. The one to thirty, and people just want to watch it for some reason. Like yeah, or like they're, they're remembering the first time whatever. they did it, or I, like I don't know. And like I wish I knew what it was so we could bottle it. You know what I mean? Like I know. <laughs> let's see. Oh man. Let's see, I have three more of those stones, so I'm going to go grab Wait, those. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab those real quick, and then uh, we'll do that instance. But, yeah, man, like, I, you know, and I, we get a lot of questions and stuff, like, uh, on my Tumblr and everything, like, oh, how do you get started? Kind of what we talked about, you know, on that Power Hour episode. It's like, okay. how do you get started making a podcast? You fucking make a podcast. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, <laughs> you just got to do it. Like, it, it's not going to get done if you're just sitting around thinking about it. Like, you just got to do it. Yeah. And then and then once you do it, you know, and at first it's kind of uneasy. Like, you know, um, yeah. you, like you were probably, you know, this way with recording your stuff for Nerd in the Bay. Like, oh, God, did this turn out okay? Who's going to watch this? Oh, and then you're kind of like in your own head. But then after a while, it's just people normal. Want, yeah, people want to watch it. And then yeah. Even if they disagree with you, they just, they just want to hear you, you know, hear your opinion. Yeah. But like, you know, who am I? You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. It's like we just have regular ass jobs. Like I'm a student. You know, I hell I went to Burger King earlier and I got they have a new cheeseburger that is like they use their chicken those long chicken sandwich buns. Like they use that but then they put two pieces of hamburger meat in between it. So it's like they call it a double double cheeseburger. So it's like four it's it's good. Like I ate it. Yeah. Is real good, but you know. But I mean, but you, you can use you can use that and then like talk about it, and then all of a sudden you can be popular. Like, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Yeah. You can be in the car, just sit, like reviewing food, and then all of a sudden you have your own TV show. Oh, and like the Hodge twins, like for working out and stuff. Yeah. God, the Hodge twins are now in like independent movies, and I remember watching the Hodge twins when their webcam wouldn't work right. Like, to when, you know, they were, like, yelling at the... They were screaming at each other because they couldn't get their computer to run it. But now they have, like, their own studio. They each bought their own houses for their family. Like, what the fuck is going on? And, <laughs> you know, like, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so cool to see people like that, like, that you were at from the very beginning. But it's just, you never know. You never know when it's going to happen. And that's why the best advice I would give to people is, yeah, like, just do it. Like, you never know. Yeah, use what you have and give that, like, a trial run. And then when you feel like, you know, you can do better by either, like, buy new equipment or mm -hmm. maybe you're just getting, like, good feedback on your videos and, like, just, you know, just tweak it here and there. Yeah. Like, just small changes and because if you try to change everything all at once it's just not going to go well like just make the the one transition you know like yeah. like perfect example is whenever you get your capture stuff like you're going to be doing the same thing now you're just going to have it captured to a source um mm -hmm. you know and it's like one little change but then after that those are going to take off you're going to get more likes and more views and then it's going to be like all right do i want my webcam integrated in this in the corner and then it starts turning into like a video thing. And that's, mm -hmm. you just kind of got to flow with it, I guess. All right. We got a, another deal right there. Yeah, we'll really accept that's, that. That's what it takes is just you wanting to do it. And then no matter if you're like super prepared for it or just use what you're given, and just do it. Yeah. And and the weird thing, and it's sort of discouraging to say, but the weird thing is right place, right time. Like, mm -hmm. because how many, you know, how many freaking video game web shows on YouTube are there to where the dude per video gets two or three views, but it's in, like, perfect quality. He spent $10,000 on equipment. Uh, you know, and his quality's out of this world. It's like better than better than source quality. You know, you just don't know how he does it. But then he has like 15 subscribers, and he's been doing it for five years. But then some 17 year old who takes like he basically does a PowerPoint presentation, and he's high all the time, and you know, and he's like, man fucking cheese its and he goes on about god knows what and he has four million subscribers and you're like oh what is going on like 
so I I don't have the advice for the how do I get popular. You, you, I mean, you just keep doing it and hope people. That's, that's still a work in progress. We're trying to find out. Find out. Yeah, yeah. Hell, Nitro Beard's been trying for eight years. You know, like I don't fucking know. Like it's it's getting better now, that's but. Thing you guys put that in, and then like, yeah. you just have this following now. Yeah, now it's actually bigger than any one of us, which is really neat to think about. But then it's weird to think about, too, because it's like, no, Nitro Beard's just the group of us, like, seven people. But then you think about it, and, like, it, it felt so weird because I did a custom banner thing for uh, for the uh, for the Twitch stream, like, for the computer stuff. So it shows my Twitter handle and stuff like that. But then I put Nitro Beard's logo on it. And I was like, this is weird now because it feels like I'm sponsored by Nitro Beard. It's like, <laughs> what? It, I'm not fucking sponsored by, I run Nitro Beard. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But now it's this big thing. And yeah. I don't know. It's just surreal. It's like, I guarantee you, I guarantee you the same thing's going to happen to Nerd in the Bay. And it, it's going to be, you're going to be, one day you're just going to be making some design stuff in like Photoshop or whatever photo editing. And then you're going to realize you have the Nerd in the Bay logo at that you're going to have to put that logo on things and yeah. uh, it's just weird it's cool but it's weird <laughs> yeah let's see i got all this gear and i haven't equipped any of it <laughs> <laughs> let's see got that I look like an extra from Spartacus. <laughs> I just put on my new helmet. Oh, did you? <laughs> dude, that Greco Roman helmet, dude. That's right. Dang. <laughs> And yeah, and like now I'm at that weird place where it's like I want to, you know, especially right now, any Twitch viewers and stuff like that, if you guys chat, we're going to chat back. But then I see people that have so many freaking followers, they never even read chat. And like chat comments on stuff and they don't even fucking acknowledge it. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> because it's like they wouldn't be popular if not for the people watching. So, exactly. you know, you got to be good with um, the people. One day I was, uh, oh man, I was, um, let's see, somebody was doing a Twitch stream on, uh, Sukut and 2, mm -hmm. and I was just yucking it up, because, you know, <laughs> for one, they're playing Sukut and 2, yeah. but then I was like, but it was also their first time playing it, so I was like, oh, this is gonna happen, but, you know, you're not trying to spoil it for the guy. Right. But I was just, you know, just messing around and stuff, like, I'll say, saying like, you know, Joey heel turn is about to come up, because he's about to... <laughs> Kill Annabelle, you know. Right. Yeah. Some stuff like that. <laughs> I was having fun just just doing that, just chatting up with other people, like like minded fans. Yeah, oh yeah, man. And, and that's where it's at. You can interact act, interact with the person that's playing, like, you know, that's that's what, what makes it you know, makes it for like for me. Yeah, same here. I mean, because there's I follow a few uh, Twitch channels, and I mean now I twit I actually stream more on Twitch, so I don't have a lot of time to uh to like uh, follow them, but one of them is called uh, Serious Gaming, and it's a couple that lives in like California. It's a guy and a girl. They've been married for like ten years, and they're the coolest people. Just because they always do random shit, like on Saturdays they do business professional Saturdays where they dress in suits just for no reason and like but they have so many subscribers and they have so many people that are there like all and they have all their inside jokes and they have their own like set of emoticons and stuff it's just wild
It's like, I hope freaking Power Hour gets to that point. Like, that'd be rad as shit. Like, can you imagine, Marco? Like, we have our own emotes for the... To, like, people can put, like, they can slide... Like, slash Marco, and then it's a picture of you. Like... <laughs> Yeah, like, once you're a meme, you made it, you know? Yeah. You fucking made it. <laughs> I can never get my duder at the right spot. <laughs> Discover those. He always stands on top of it and then stops looking around after a while. I'm like, come on, man. What's up, Taylor Headshot? Oh, there is. Yeah, what's up, Headshot? We're just hanging out, leveling our duders. Let's see, we got that. Bam. But yeah, and it sounds bad, and I probably even shouldn't say it, but one of my... Like, if there was one wish in the world for my Twitch success, it would be that I would be a girl. Because if you see the amount of activity that happens on a stream only because it's a girl, it's ridiculous, oh, yeah. man. But it was the same way. It's the same way everywhere. It's the same way at, like, Live Journal, whenever that was a thing. And, like, mm. the worst, oh my god, the worst thing is whenever you're in, like, a game of Call of Duty or something. And then you hear a girl over voice chat. And then just the really sad neckbeard guys are like, are you a girl? I could protect you. <laughs> right. Nine shining armor. Oh, uh, but then they're bad at it. Like, oh, I know so much about this video game. Like, it's supposed to be super impressive. Like, there was a, a NeoGAF. Uh, you know NeoGAF, right? The crazy forums. Uh, there's a NeoGAF guy that was like, I'm going on the first date tonight, and she wants to come back to my apartment and see my puppy that I posted on Facebook. It's like, what video game should I show her? It's like, are you fucking kidding? First of all, puppy is an innuendo, if I've ever heard one. Right. Like, what are you talking about? What's the deed? Yeah, like, yeah, she wants a puppy, all right. Like, you know, but <laughs> she's dropping all these hints, and he's like, I'm going to show her a video game. You know, like, video game. Ugh. What are you talking it's about? <laughs> yeah, it's like, get out of here, man. Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's like, we just got to get our shit together. You just got to... Oh. Like, don't even mention it. Like, hide them right now. Like, just fucking hide them. Yeah. Like, I still feel bad. Like, my girlfriend, I love her to death, man. She's so supportive of my stream and stuff. And she's like, she gets to watch some of it at work sometimes. And she's like, oh, it'll be funny. And I always laugh. And, you know, so she's super supportive. And even I'm embarrassed about it. Like, hey, I'm going to go do my video game thing now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just feels. I the exact same thing with my wife. Like, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I gotta do my video game thing. I hope you're okay with that. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, they're so supportive, and they're the best <laughs> women in the world. And we're like, yeah, we're like, it's so, it's so weird. We should just get over it. Like they got over it. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like, hey, you guys are doing a thing. This is real cool. And we're like feeling guilty about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. I know it because yeah, that's the thing is you never, ever, like you know you never want the video games to come before a relationship. Like that's part of it. Whenever you're in the long term relationship, I mean, but that's I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I actually prefer spending time with my girlfriend more than playing video games. Like that's just the way it is. So it's like, so you do kind of feel guilty. Like whenever you're doing this type of stuff. Like thankfully she's at work right now. So there's a, you know, there's, she couldn't spend time with me anyway. So now I can kind of do this and, you know, we got it to where, you know, your day off syncs up well with, you know, my time off from class. And so we got it working, but any other time it's like fly by the seat of the pants thing, you know, like you just got to do it when you got time. Oh, didn't we already see this? The Zenga? Oh, that's right. Last time it was Wonder Girl. 
because yeah, for heroes they showcase the villains. Yeah. The villains they showcase the heroes, but I guess Ginyanta is like it's just like a jobber. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's a mid carter at best. <laughs> and what's so crazy is you see all those guys like you remember in WCW Norman Smiley like he's a trainer now and like Brooklyn Brawler is a trainer I love Norman Smiley so good oh god he's incredible like his knowledge in the ring is ridiculous like he is one of the best technical wrestlers that's ever wrestled I'm convinced and but now he's the same dude he has the same haircut now he just wears like WWE NXT t-shirts because he's training all the guys at NXT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just hanging out, I guess. <laughs> 13. Damn. Oh, let me, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm level 12. I bet I'd get a lot more XP if I got the, uh, because uh, I forgot to put my crap in the, uh, in the in the house, the armory or whatever, I forgot to do that. Oh, okay. Um, but I'll do that some other time. Let's see, did I get another XP box? I know. Ja yeah, Jackson says use the XP booster box. Did I get another one? Exobite, carved shelves. <laughs> I got shelves from that boss fight for my apartment. Nice. Magnum shoulder guards. Oh hell yeah. Nice. I got a feet. Um, already collected, already collected, yeah, Jackson, I think I used the XP deal, I'm hoping, hell no, in my luck, I probably used it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I, there we go. So I did have it equipped, but I didn't use it. Now I did. Oh, you didn't use it, though. Yeah, now I did. God, what the hell's up with me? I look like a guy from Judas Priest. Like, what is... <laughs> you, have the, you, have, you have the biker chest gear, and then, yeah, you look like... Are you coming together, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know it. I don't even know what aesthetic this is, but whatever it is, it works. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm like, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Arc Age a lot. And then uh, I think Wednesday is going to be my Goat Simulator day. <laughs> so I'll probably do that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do Goat Simulator on Wednesday. And then I'll, it's actually really nice whenever I did Road Redemption, you know, this past, uh, this I, past I Power watched, Hour. I watched the beginning of the video, I was like, dude, that's Road Rash. Oh, it is, man. Oh, it's so good. I was like, oh, man, I'm having an itch for that now. Dude, it's that I'm game, that yeah. Game somewhere. And it is, it's a very good Road Rash game. And it has, uh, I'll spoil a little bit of it. Near the end of it, I actually get to equip guns. And I was like, guns were not in Road Rash. And, like, you could do, gr like, grenade launchers and shotguns. So you can, like, drive by people and, like, point blank them. It's, oh, the game's nuts, man. But, um, but what I did with that one is, like, I know I said it in the opening deal, but, like, I was streaming it while recording it on my Aver Media separately. And, like the mic was uh, being picked up for both things. And then like, it just worked out really well because that way I could do my 720 stream, but then I was recording it in 1080 to put to YouTube later. And so that way, like if people wanted to watch the power hour right then, they could either watch it live or watch the immediate Twitch archive, but it'd be lower quality. But then with the YouTube thing, they'd have to wait a day, but then it's in 1080. And yeah, it was like, it was perfect though. Like it came together really well. So that's probably how I'm going to record every power hour. Okay. And like now they're bringing the final fantasy 13 trilogy to PC. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I think Final Fantasy 13 comes out next week. Um, and I already bought it. It's only 14 bucks, so I rebought it. I hated that fucking game, but I'm thinking about doing a power hour about why I hated that game and play it while I'm bitching about it. Are you gonna <laughs> play the whole thing or just, just whatever you get into? Probably, probably the first like hour and a half or so, and then what I yeah. what I'll probably do is is a uh, I'll finish up Final Fantasy VII, and then and then once that let's play is done. Then I'll do a, the let's play of Final Fantasy 13, starting from where the Power Hour ended. That way, Power Hour could be episode number one. You, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. Go um, to Metro Station. It says to go back into the Metro. I'm missing an orb from the Truth Hurts. Really? Is it inside the building? Did you get all? Of them? I don't yes. think I did. No. <laughs> that dude just ran by us. I was like, what the hell? All right. Yeah, let's where's this other one at? Yeah, because if you missed it, I probably missed it too. Oh, hey. Is it over? I don't even know. Okay, we got that one by the stairs. Oh. There it is. There you go. Do you have all of them? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. It says exit the metro station. Um... Let's see, what one was this for? Um, uh, it's called The Truth Hurts. Yeah, mine... Yeah, mine's not there anymore, so... I guess so. Let's head out. Let's see... <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, they need to build, make like a built-in Twitch app for PS3 and PS4, to where you can just watch. Yeah. Twitch. Yeah, I think so too. Because that'd be a cool way, like if you were just uh, if you were home from work or something, and like yeah. you wanted to just watch whatever yeah. the hell yeah, I was doing. Was like the the YouTube app for uh, PS3. Yeah. And then you can connect it through your phone, and then you can watch YouTube clips on your, you know, you, using. Your phone has like the remote per se. Right. You should probably use that for like the Twitch. That'd be really cool. Because I mean, because yeah. it's nice because I usually get a lot more, a lot of people talking during these PS4 streams. Like a lot of people wanting to join up or play or, you know, things like that or just asking questions. And, uh, right. but then whenever I do computer games, there's more people watching, but none of them talk. It's the weirdest thing. So I guess like I would love if the, if somehow the PlayStation community could just jump on board to the PC stuff, you know what I mean? Like, it could be like a one-to-one -one thing. Because, um, yeah, yeah I, that's why I kind of love streaming on the PS4 is there's always people either to play with or chill out with or, you know, people yeah. in chat. But, uh, but yeah, on PC, not so much. I thought it'd be crazy because I got more, you know, I get more 
viewers, but I'm like, oh yeah, I wonder if they're going to chat. No one says a fucking word. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so I guess it's people just browsing a game. Like I want to see someone play this game. Yeah. And then, and apparently in my arc age stream, as it was going, I was in the top 15, like, cause I had like 50 people watching, but no one was talking yeah. like literally not a single person was talking. <laughs> and I was like, did I just get all the really quiet people? Like what happened? <laughs> But then there's some games I could play, but there's no chance of me getting good ratings on it. Because, like, there's people in World of Warcraft that get, like, two, like 20,000 viewers at a time. And it's just normal-ass people. And it's like, ain't no way I'm going to compete with that. So, I think the secret is finding the old games and playing those. Wonders done. To agent respect at the little Bohemian nightclub. Um. Let's see. So I have. I can do some of the, the the chain of this quest, and then probably before we have to go use, do the instance. Okay. Probably gonna be done. Okay. Uh, which one is it? Um. Earning respect. Okay. Just want to make sure I was marking the right one. Yeah, no problem. And then uh. What I'll probably do is if there's enough time, I might set up the stream and stream a little bit of, like, I don't know, something quick. Probably, like, Diablo. Because Diablo, you can just go in and dick around and then <laughs> do it like that. But let's see. Um, F-T-H-L-S-S. I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, <laughs> uh, could streaming be profitable at some point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people on Twitch that their career is to stream. Like, they will bring in enough money that they'll, they'll do, like, they'll give away $1,000 worth of gift cards a month. And that's that's not even counting money. Like, that's not counting the money they make. That's just the bonus that came in from the revenue that they made from Twitch. Like, it's... Right terrifying how much money like there's that big thing that was a big deal PewDiePie or whatever his name is makes four million dollars a year <laughs> he's a fucking YouTube personality he makes four million a year there are movie stars that work full time that don't make four million dollars a year <laughs> like are you are you kidding me but but uh, there's a lot of people on Twitch like I was watching this um Twitch guy uh, just today in fact and he was playing games, and he's a funny guy. And he was talking about, he was like, well, this is a subscriber-only giveaway. Now, guys, keep in mind, a subscriber, you pay five bucks a month to that person. Like, it's, it's through Twitch, but there's a little subscribe button. Like, I don't have enough viewers to get a subscribe button. Um, probably in the next year or so, I might. But, I mean, you have to have, like, 500 viewers at all times. You have to stream four times a week. Um, you have to have, like, so many hours watched of content. You, you know, like, there's a lot of things you got to do. But there was this guy doing a giveaway just to his subscribers. And he was like, oh, I put all their names in a hat, like, in the random.com or random.org, to where he could put in a text document. And then, like, it would shuffle through a text document. Well, he was like, I put in all my subscribers, and it's 3,000 subscribers. And I, I took a minute, and I was like, let me think about this. He has 3,000 subscribers a month, and each of them give him five bucks. This is per month. Like, let's do that math. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's 20 grand a month. I don't know how much Twitch takes of that, but... Hell, even if they took 70%, I don't fucking care. Like, give me my 1500 bucks a month. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't care. 
uh, that's that's outrageous. That's what I make right now as a freelance graphic designer. Like, I'm on board on a company, and I get paid that much by doing an actual job. Like, and I'm not saying that streaming like this isn't hard, because in order to get that many people and you're responding to that many people live, that's tricky. Like, it, it has to be pretty exhausting. And don't get me wrong, these people stream 16 hours a day. Like, this is literally what they do. They treat it like a 120-hour-a-week job. Um, but they're also making money to pay for it. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, it's profitable. It's totally profitable. Um, it's just, I don't know how big that bubble is going to get before it bursts. Um, right. cause not everybody that has a Twitch account can make a grand a month. Like that's just not feasible. You know, like I said, I'm super stoked. I made 15 bucks this month on YouTube.